Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about getting our first C file set up. So we're going to load up a C file and we're going to be able to get everything working and test out our program. So I'm going to open up my code blocks program and this is the IDE that I'm going to be using for the rest of this course. So I'm just going to double click on it and it should start opening. Once we have code blocks open, you'll see over here, there's a bunch of different options like create a new project, open an existing project. So we're actually going to want to create a new project. So whenever we're going to start writing some C files, we're going to want to create a new project in code blocks. So you can either click this button right here, or you can go up to file new and project. So either way, it's going to bring you to this window over here. And this is, there's going to be a bunch of options here. Basically just, uh, these are different types of like C projects that we could create. What we're going to be doing is creating a console application. This is like just a basic C project that you could run on your computer. That's exactly what we need. So click on console application and then click go. And I'm just going to click through this wizard and you'll see over here, it says uh, C plus plus or C. Now C and C plus plus are both uh, different programming languages. For this course, we're gonna be working with C. So just highlight C and click next. And we're gonna give this a title. I'm just gonna call mine draft. And we're gonna to have to put this project inside of a folder. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm just gonna put this on my desktop. So let's click okay and click next. And you can leave all of these options as the default and we'll click finish. So now what we should have is our first C project in code blocks. Now over here inside this little file explorer, you'll notice that draft is right here. So that was the name of the project that I just created down here. We have this source folder. So I'm going to click down and you'll see, we have this file here called main.c. And this is a file that got automatically created for us by code blocks. So I'm just going to right click and open it. And you'll see over here, we have some default code. So up here, there's these little lines of code that say include down here. This says int main. So this is the program that we're given by default when we created our C project. And this is sort of like the simplest C program that you can write. Essentially what this program does is it prints out hello world onto the screen. So in order to run this program and test it and just make sure that everything's working, I'm going to come up here and you'll see that there's this green play button over here and it just says run when I hover over it. When I click this button, this file that we have open right here, main.c is going to get run. So we're essentially telling code blocks to run this file and execute the program. So when I click the run button, we're getting this message. It says the project hasn't been built yet. Do you want to build it? Click yes. And now over here, this little window pops up. Basically this is the command prompt. So, Whenever I run a C program, this little window is going to pop up. So if I was to exit out of this and run this program again, you'll see this window pops up again. And it basically just executes the program. And in the case of this program, all we're doing is we're printing out hello world onto the screen. And that's actually what this instruction does over here. When we open up this command prompt, it's essentially just executing the program and it's printing out whatever we told it to print out. So it's printing out hello world over here and printing something out onto the screen is really easy. And that's one instruction that we can give to the computer. But as we go through this course, we're going to learn all sorts of instructions that we can use. But the purpose of this tutorial was just to get our C project set up and to test our main.c file. So as long as everything works here and you're good to go, and now we can start really learning how to program in C. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.